It's runtime. Oh, it's definitely runtime. Warning, this game contains jump scares, flashing lights, scary and disturbing content. Viewer discretion is advised. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Flames Plays, and today we're checking out Red Mist. If you can't tell from the font, it's a SpongeBob-themed horror game. And on 7th January 2000, Squidward was found dead in his house by his friends SpongeBob and Patrick. The Bikini Bottom police started an investigation, but could not find any evidence of a possible murder and assumed it was a suicide, as the gun was in one of Squidward's hands. A few days later, Spongebob and Patrick were reported missing, last seen entering Squidward's house in the middle of the night. As the Bikini Bottom police continued the investigations, a secret cellar door was unveiled in Squidward's house. You play as one of the police officers of the Bikini Bottom police. You have to enter the cellar. Will you unveil the truth? Maybe. I don't know. Your stamina is limited. Use when needed. Okay. So yeah, this is a creepypasta. This, this is a free itch.io game available down below. Can I just leave? That would be great if I could just like get out right away. Based upon uh, Squidward Suicide. If you want to check it out yourself, the link will be in the description down below. Does my stamina... Okay, uh, hold up one second. I'm going to go teleport over this side, and then I'm going to flip that way. There you go. So you guys can see my stamina at least. My stamina does not replenish at all, so I'm going to take it nice and slow. I guess we have to find seven items, judging by the top right hand corner saying items 0 out of 7. And make it out of this massive cellar. Which at this point I would assume just like goes into the crusty crowd, just judging by how large it is. But we're, I think we're looking for evidence of Squidward's demise. Oh, that's the record playing the song. I was going to say I that was someone like humming or something like that. This place is massive. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I feel like, oh, can't go in there. My big old police body won't let me through. So you got to find uh, seven items. Slender style, eh? I can get behind that. I can roll with that. We have ourselves a axe looking thing. Can I pick that up? Oh, no, it's a foot. Okay, something is definitely a foot here. So what items can I pick up? There's definitely something here. I, I think I should be able to pick this up. It's a clarinet. I got it. One out of seven. Progress is being made. This seems like it's a maze almost. Oh, it's not. Plenty of room between the boxes. Shouldn't it be any problems right here. All right, so the blue items I can pick up. God, I hate, I hate going around corners like that so close. This one jobs. Spatula. Uh, branching paths here. Ooh, I don't know which one I want. He was. He was what? He was? Okay. Another foot and also a jump scare. Okay. Wrong. And we found Spongebob. Poor old Spongebob. Torn asunder. The magic conch. Yeah, Spongebob definitely has seen better days, that's for sure. So I feel like I feel like not using my stamina now is probably the best bet. Because I think once I get 7th item, something's going to attack me and I need to run. So I also should probably memorize the path I go. Which was at the only real at the only real junction. Oh. I'm gonna go this way just in case. Or not. Okay, cool. SB129? Oh. Something here? No. Okay. Whew. Thought there was something to worry about. Uh SpongeBob's hat. Four out of seven items. SB129. I'm assuming SB would be SpongeBob. I don't know what 129 would be though. Is that a secret? Oh, or maybe that's SpongeBob episode 129. I don't know what that would have been though. Oh, another massive room full of shelves. I have to scootaloo around. There we go. Oh, oh, I see parts of Patrick. I see his torso at least. That's a part technically. The biggest part, but still a part. Okay. Gonna be honest, when I when I went into this game thinking SpongeBob horror game, I wasn't expecting much. Yet here I am, actually kind of on edge right now, wondering when something's going to happen. So far, you're getting a jump scare. Eh, you no, know, one jump scare is not bad. But that that part with the uh, Squidward's body just kind of chilling there in the light is kind of cool. Okay, still good. Oh, gonna go jellyfishing. Maybe a five out of seven. I haven't missed any yet. 
That's good. Oh no. Uh, I don't know which way to go. I'm gonna go this way. It's okay. Oh, there's the rest of them. Stop. I oh, can I do build flashlights? No, I can't. Damn. Oh, there's part of Patrick. Is there an item over here? No, but there's one behind Patrick's. Kind of weird to crucify Patrick, to be honest. Uh, an envelope. Don't know what that one's about. Why do I think I hear something? Why does it sound like I hear something? I'm hearing, I keep, uh, see, I don't know if it's, I'm actually hearing it or if I'm just, my ear is freaking out because I'm still dealing, dealing with like the ear pressure from being sick. And right now, actually, my throat feels a little scratchy, so I'm recording a few episodes of one go. But I hear like popping occasionally. And it's just, uh, ooh, truth is near. Oh boy. This one from Patrick kill Squidward. And then the ghost of Squidward came back. And he was even bigger and buffer than ever. All right. That was just kind of weird. Wasn't really. That was. Okay. Yeah, we're running. It's runtime. Oh, it's definitely runtime. It's certainly run time. Oh, God. He's very low poly, but he's got some big old choppers. That is for sure. I feel like turning back at that time was a wrong idea. Oh, I can just leave. Please stand by. Escape ending. You managed to escape the basement in the last second. You contacted the police station and told them what you witnessed in the basement. A special police force was sent to Squidward's house. They searched for the bodies of Squidward and Patrick, but they could not find anything. Okay. All right. Neat. This is only a six minute video, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump back in and try to get another ending or two. I wonder what if I don't grab any items. I'm, I'm gonna go back to that area without grabbing a single item. Oh, I should probably shouldn't use a stamina up now either. And we'll see if anything else, anything different triggers there. All right, so I'm walking down the long red corridor. I didn't find SpongeBob's body, because I didn't go down that way. And I didn't find Patrick's body, because I didn't go down that way. So we're gonna see what happens when we escape this way. Because we never witnessed either of them. Oh, the truth is near. It's not uh, freaking out for us quite yet. Let's see. Okay, that was the first. I actually didn't get the other two jump scares too, which is kind of interesting. Wait for him to show up. I'm also wondering what just happens if I get eaten by him. Because I'm thinking maybe that's not what I need to. Like, we're never found. Oh, I'm still trying to wonder. I'm still wondering what that SB129 thing is. That's going to be a secret I need too. Hey, please stand by. Nope, it's the same. Yeah. Is there, okay, yeah, this is slightly different. Uh, you managed to escape the basement in the last second. You contacted the police station and told them you witnessed the basement. Special force was sent to Squidward's house. They searched for the bodies of Squidward and Patrick. Could not find anything. I think that's actually the exact same thing. So now I guess I'm going to get caught by Squidward's giant robotic mouth, and we'll see what happens then. So I'll jump ahead just to that. All right, so we got the jump scare. And now we're gonna get to the mouth. Go ahead and eat me, you big blue beautiful boy. Noms. Death ending. After you have not returned from the basement, the Bikini Bottom Police decided to send a special force of police officers into the basement. They found the bodies of SpongeBob, Patrick, and you in a devastating condition. An investigation was started to explain the deaths, but no clues were found to what really happened. The case was solved a few months later, and the deaths remain a mystery. Or the case was closed a few months later, and the deaths remain a mystery to this day. I feel like there's something I'm missing here. I'm going to dig around the game a bit more. There, there was an item I missed back here, actually. Uh, one of the paintings. So I think that's the missing item that I was trying to find. So I'll just go grab the items and go down that hallway again. Okay, so I'm going to pick up the last item now. And okay, that's seven out of seven. That's, I do find it kind of weird there's stuff over here. There's this whole area over here. But is there actually nothing behind it? Okay, yeah, there is nothing behind it. Great. Okay. So I'm just going to make my way down that long, dark hallway, long red hallway. It's not really that dark. And uh, actually, no, I'm just going to sprint there. So yeah, with the, the painting, which was bold and brash, I think it belongs in the trash. That should give us the last item. And hopefully, I, I, I'm actually wondering what's going to happen. Is he going to show up again? Or is he going to let me go all the way down the hallway? And if I get out, if, it better be a different ending, I would think. If you're going to, if you're going to show me something else. Yep, there's that good old jump scare again. I was gonna say, can I actually just turn around now? Okay, so now I can turn around. 
Now I can sprint. Use up some of my stamina. It's not that bad. I still gotta figure out what the SB129 means. I'm gonna have to Google it, I think, to find out what I'm looking for. But we have all the items. So this should be a different ending. Oh, whoa, it is a different ending. We are back in the hallway. Our stamina is not replenished. Okay. Hmm. There's something there. What does this say? What is this? Let me write, let me write this down. 5C W F T capital D I capital Z 9 Z capital Y. Huh. I wonder what that is. What's up with that? Okay. Corrupt oh corrupted. Corrupted ending. Oh. I guess I got a corrupted ending. Truth is near SB129. So, okay. So what I'm thinking this could be is that five I'm, why am I writing this down again? It's because it looks like garbage in my original handwriting. FT. I think this is a code that I have to type into the game? Maybe. Try this. So go back. Quit. Oh, that just closes the game. That's cool too. I, I, yeah, that's alright. That's the thing we did. Alright, so fire the game back up. And I think... From here. Maybe I do it here? Maybe. Let's try this. 5 C W F T D I Z 9 Z Y. No, that didn't do anything. Oh, you guys are all you guys are all joining me for this adventure now. I'm gonna try typing it in here maybe. 5 C W F T D I Z 9 Z Y. No, nothing seemed to be different. So my last thought of something weird happening in this game is what if I collect all seven items and then get eaten? But would it be a different ending? Or is it still just I'm dead? Because I feel like maybe having all the items would appease the evil god Squidward, maybe? I'm using all my stamina really quickly too. All right, so yeah, this is the other photo. This is the other thing I was talking about. Bold and brash. Boosh, got it. All right, I'm gonna get all the items. We'll get back to the uh, the whole area and figure out what's going on with that. And see if it's a different ending for getting eaten with all seven things. But I'll see you guys in just a moment. All right, so I googled it while I was running around grabbing the items. SD129 was actually an episode. It's one where uh, Squidward freezes himself, and it, the hilarious part of future, future. That's that's right. So I I, I googled it to get an answer on it. All right, so we have all seven items. We're gonna go embrace this lovely boy here and let him eat our faces. Because I have one more idea on what it could be. So it's just the death ending. Damn it. All right, my last idea for what it, what it, what could be something interesting. What if I get all seven items and then go back to this ladder? Don't go down that hallway. It's gonna take a while because I gotta go find all the items and then make my way back and without using up all my stamina. But we're gonna get the seven items and then I'll just run my way back. So I'll get them, make my way back, and we'll see what we see. All right, so I got all the items and I'm making my way back to the starting ladder. I wonder, I, I can't, I assume this isn't gonna let me actually do it. And if this doesn't let me do it, I'm gonna try to delve into what SP129 and the code that I got at the end of the game meant. Yeah, this doesn't let me do it. Damn. Well, it was a shot. That way I don't have to face the, uh, Try and face, but okay, let me start. I'm gonna start digging into what how how can you use this this SCWFT code? It's gotta be something. It's a YouTube video. It's a YouTube video code. So what what does that even mean? Also, yes, I watch a lot of Magic the Gathering stuff. <laughs> I know. So we're looking for cans on the bottom shelves, it looks like. Okay, let's, let's see, 
I'm, I remember seeing cans. There's also beeping. Hmm. I'm not good at Morse code though, so... Okay, this looks like it might be one of the first ones. Should we watch it? Oh! Whoa, something happened. I heard static. Okay, that's a good sign. What other ones then? There's no cans there. So it does seem like there's something. Where is something with it? With those that that can that I was staring at. Because when I did that, it got all staticky. Okay, but where else would we do we see cans? Oh, there's the shelves later on. There's no cans down where SpongeBob's corpses. There's the shelves later on. Well, during that the zigzag part, I gotta go. And then there's also, I think there's cans in here. There's shelves here. I don't know there's cans though. I find your lack of cans disturbing. Okay. This is fine. We can do this. I'm gonna just swing around here. I got a little bit of stamina left. I can I can waste it. Alright. Are there any cans in here is a question. There's also cans where, when we started at, I think, actually, is another spot where there are cans. So yeah, that's, that's not the bottom shelf there, but there was can, there's a can there. There's a can. I think that's one. Were there cans in the, were we in, the, in the starting room? I don't remember. Let's stare at this one, see if anything happens. Keep an eye on it. I'm gonna wait. How long did I stare at it for? I think I heard something. Oh, I had to click on it. Okay, that makes a lot more sense than staring at it. I felt like that's all it was, but there's no cans there, but there are cans where Patrick's corpses, I think. Where Patrick becomes a beheaded Jesus. It's a whole weird situation there, but all right. All right, bottom can? Nope, not that one. It's two over there. And it was actually it actually showed us the back of the can. So oh maybe that's why this is here. Yeah. That was three. Okay. There were three pictures. There were three cans listed in the video. So I think maybe I can just go down the hallway with no risk of dying? Possibly? Let's find out. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna blow my stamina right now. Truth is near. Is it the real truth? Is it the true true? Oh man. We're stuck at slow speeds now. At a snail's pace. Try to figure out what's going on here. Okay, normal jump scare. That's fine. Are you gonna do it again? If you do it again, I'm gonna be very upset with you. Here we go. Uh oh crap. My lack of stamina. My lack of stamina. Yeah, it's just death. So close. All right, let me, let me. Okay, let me check one thing. There are cans here, but there's three there. Definitely not what I want to do then. So, not even gonna bother. Do I get the items? I will get. The, I'll get. The, I'll get the items. Okay, I'm gonna get the items. Get the cans all done. We're gonna run out and see what happens. Okay, so just, see you guys in just just a second. All right, we made it past the jump scare. I still have plenty of stamina left. I'm gonna trigger them. There you go, now we're gonna run away. And I did get all three cans. I got all seven items. I'm gonna escape. And we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna say, please tell that ladder's coming up soon, because I feel like this is a lot longer hallway than it was before. Alright. Please stand by. Here. Does this just lead me back to the code? No. Mr. Krabs did it. Oh. Mr. Krabs killed Squidward. Now we're going to the SB129 ending. <laughs> future! Future! When you es entered SB129, you were teleported to the day of the Squidward assassination. Wow, that's a way to put it. You caught Mr. Krabs in the act when he tried to shoot Squidward. You overpowered and arrested Mr. Krabs. He was sentenced to prison for attempted murder for 25 years. To be continued? Huh, okay, so we got all the endings. Awesome. That was cool. I like that a lot, actually. Uh, I didn't honestly expect to go into a SpongeBob creepypasta horror game and go, 
yeah, I'm gonna go delving for all the secrets. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. This is pretty cool. Uh, jump scares. Yeah, I actually one thing I did notice about the game is eerily silent, which I I liked a lot actually. I feel like it really played into it pretty well. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. And also make sure you're subscribed so you get updates release new content or go live while live streaming. And as always, have a great day. Remember to burn bright. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thank you very much for my Patreon supporters down below. I just want to say thank you again for the continued support. And if you enjoy the content and you want to see your name down here, there's links down below to both my Patreon as well as my Twitter. And if you can just show some support by subscribing, I really appreciate that. Have a great day. Remember to burn bright.